Today I have a wonderful friend named Val and she okay. lives here in the city and she is going to share with us her amazing uh, Middle Eastern perfume collection. So she's picked her top 15. Is that top right? 15. It was a hard pick, but I got them. So she's going to share those with us. And also I'm going to leave her <clears throat> Instagram channels down below. She makes amazing jewelry that I would love for you to check out. Uh, and as well, she's got a perfume channel because she's a, a freaking perfume addict. Yeah. Or at least a fanatic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, this is your first one. So this is the first one, and it's from the house of Ard al Zafarn, and it's called Amal. So one of the things that I love about Middle Eastern fragrances is that they are often amazing dupes and sometimes even better quality than the originals. Yeah. And that's what I found with this one. When I found this one online, it was advertised as a dupe of So Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Oh, okay. So I flipped out, Ooh, bought it immediately, because okay. I thought if it's better quality, longer lasting, like they often are. Yeah. Damn. Like, yeah. I have to do it because I love that perfume. Yeah. But it's 100% my way DNA. And oh. I'm really happy with it. Like, really happy. And what's the longevity like? The longevity is really good. Great sillage, great scent bubble. The bottle's gorgeous. The juice is pink. Like, it's, I'm, I love everything about this one. So it's really hard not to put it in the top five, but I'm just jumping at this one first because I love it that much. I have my way intense, which. Okay. I really like, and yeah. I'm only saying it like that because I really love this one. Oh, it's much okay. Better, so I want you to sniff it. Yeah, I like smelling my way in the bottle. I like smelling it on paper. I think it's yeah. amazing. It's when I put it on my skin that it gets weird. So yeah. it smells phenomenal for the first like hour, and then it goes really yucky like hairspray or something like kind of I don't know it just goes gross on my skin I don't know if it's does does my way have tuberos in it my way has that really gorgeous bubble gummy tuberose yeah. but I find this one even sweeter even bubble gummier like it's not juvenile by any means but it's just so feminine like this is a compliment magnet do you have any idea what the price tag is I don't think you'll ever end up paying more than fifty dollars oh really it. yeah okay it's, Awesome. Just a win, win, win across the board. That is Amal by Ard Al Zafaran. And just so that you know, I will as much as possible have them linked down below. So the next one we have here is Ansam by the House of Latafa. It's Ansam Gold and it is in the same scent profile as Killian's Love Don't Be Shy and Oriana. I've heard that that one's actually closer to Oriana yeah. than Love Don't Be Shy. What, is it, what are your thoughts? I think you know better than me. Okay, so have you smelled? Definitely, I haven't oh. actually smelled Oriana. Okay, I've only, I, I have a little tiny sample. I'll try okay. to find it later. I'd love to smell I it. have a little tiny sample, but I can't actually remember what it's like. Okay. But I I, uh, I think I liked Oriana better than Love Don't Be Shy, but I'm not sure, okay. so should okay. be spray. The bottle is stunning. The cap is really cool as well. And is it heavy? It's heavy. And it comes with oh. this beautiful, like, man's Chinese theater backdrop <laughs> that you can like. <laughs> like, it is really stunning. And again, this one, just like all the others I'm gonna show you guys, are like, you're never gonna pay more than $60. A lot of times yeah. you're gonna pay $40, $45 Canadian. Yeah. Okay, so off the bat, I don't feel like it's as sharp yeah. as Love Don't Be Shy, so I get a lot more more of the neroli feel yes. in Love Don't Be Shy. Whereas this one, it's a softer, sweeter. Yeah, very fluffy, very okay, marshmallow fluffy, but not juvenile, more. like it's a lady scent for sure. I think this could, this could probably be worn by all ages, hey? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it's really a nice one. I don't think it smells like Love Don't Be Shy. So okay. like smelling the two of them. Oh, I've got a Love Don't Be Shy dupe. I'll, I'll, or like the actual thing. I'll let okay. you smell that I'd love too. to smell it because but, yeah, I've only smelled the Ocha. That's the only, yeah. that's how I'm familiar with the scent profile. So, so I have the Ocha, which smells a lot more neroli. To me, the Ocha version is closer. Okay. But off the cuff, I prefer this just okay. because it's softer, sweeter, a little bit fluffier feeling. Yeah. So maybe it is closer to Oriana. Okay. I'll have to try find the, the sample I have. See, that's I what, love this one. Oh, I love it too. Like I can't get over, like this isn't, like I said, it's not my favorite scent profile. Right. But what I love is you're getting quality, an amazing price. Yeah. Um, 
oftentimes better than the original. Mm -hmm. And I know some people have conflicting feelings about dupes and that's fine. You don't have to like dupes. But this is, you know, presentation, everything you're getting, like it's 10 out of 10. Yeah. It's amazing. So, well, yeah. plus uh, or affordable. So, exactly. so the thing that I love about affordable fragrances like this is you feel pampered because you've got mm. a beautiful bottle. Yes. Uh, the fragrance is beautiful. It's longer lasting because love don't be shy doesn't last long. I don't know about Oriana. I've heard Oriana actually lasts mm -hmm. a while. But like it, you're getting a long lasting, high quality fragrance in a beautiful bottle. Yeah. That's what and a girl wants. It's what a girl That's wants. That's what this girl wants. <laughs> Affordable luxury <laughs> right here. So on to the next one we've got. It's a brand called Fragrance World. And just take a look at the bottle. Just by the bottle alone, you can tell it's a dupe of MFK. What is it? Maison Francis Kirkajon. Yeah. There you go. I don't have any of his fragrances myself, but obviously I'm familiar with the scent profiles. This is a dupe of Grand Soir. Okay. It's called Bear Cat Amber Eve instead of Baccarat. Right. Which I think is cutting it pretty close with the dupe. Well, and the question I have is with this company, do they say it's inspired by? Um, You know what? I didn't buy it directly from the company. Oh I think I goodness. bought it off of Frag Bar. Which right. is, you know, a really yeah. good Canadian site. I think it's like Frag Plus. Isn't it amazing? So good. The notes of this one are amber and vanilla. So it's just the way they do the amber and vanilla. And I feel like there's just enough of like just a sea breeze salt. It's so beautiful. It's salty vanilla. Like, t do you get that? Mm -hmm. It's obviously in the amber. It's very, it's a resinous yeah. amber. It's really lovely. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And it's yeah. really, really smooth too. Yeah. So it does. There's no harsh edges on this. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I've gotten three from this line. One of them is in my top five, so we'll leave that till after. The third one I got was the. Uh, it's a citrusy one because I've been really into. I told okay. you I'm super into citrus musk fragrances right. for the summer, and it's uh, really just smells like hairspray, like a total bomb. Oh, okay. So I can't even remember what it's called now, but I think it was. Uh, Aqua Vitae Fort. Forte. Okay, yeah, I don't yeah. like that fragrance from MFK either. So there you go. I didn't know the original. I just yeah. took a gamble, but at these prices. Wow. Um, is that nice? You yes, it's so beautiful. If you want. All right, so on the subject of dupes, so I've got this cute pink bag, and this is also, I believe, an Ard Alzafarin. And this one is called Musaf Wardy. Okay. And I'm just going to let you smell it. And I'm just, you didn't know there's going to be a excited. test. <laughs> you didn't know there was going to be a test, but I want you to smell this and tell me what it's a dupe of because you're going to know. Um, another website that I get these from you guys is Triple Traders. Okay. Really good. Like, so I'll, I'll get all the names like definitely. for Frag Bar and whatnot so okay. that I, I can have all those linked down below. Okay. So f right off the bat, what I'm thinking is it's Delina because of the color of the bottle and stuff. But, think, but this girl is oh, not, not a big Delina fan. So okay, I, I, I don't, I'm not Delina. No, I'm nervous. A little lychee, a little raspberry, a little acagala. Uh, uh, you know what it is. <laughs> Raspberry and <laughs> like I know those notes, but why can't I? Why can't I? Why can't I remember? Why can't I remember? I'll give you. I'll give you just one more clue. It's a. Uh, you recently went wild for the eau de toilette version, as opposed to Angel Muse no. PDT Angel or no no, oh, no. Angel Nova. Nova Nova. That's it. That's okay, right. yeah. For a second, I was like, is it an is it an angel? Yeah, it's an angel. So this is supposed to be a dupe of the EDP? I would say so, yeah. It's better. I love it. It's way better because you know what? what I struggle with is Angel, or like Mugler's mm -hmm. Aki Gallowood. Yeah. I don't like it. It's like sharp. it's too sharp. So this one smells really nice. You know what I brought? No, it's, let me just quickly try and find it and I'll read you the notes oh, for gonna this one. I'm going to stink so bad. I know it's going to be so good. <laughs> All right, let's My just see here. <laughs> Musa Forty. So it's these are the notes. Okay. They're so sexy. Okay. Grape, chocolate. I don't know if I get either, but I like no. that they're in there. Uh, middle notes: white musk and apple, and base strawberry, vanilla, and rose. And I think what really brings this one a notch above Nova is the strawberry. Yeah. And so it's got some added sweetness. You really get the apple too. Oh, 
That's way better. Isn't it nice? Way, way, way better. better. Way better. <laughs> you guys, if you go on tripletraders.com and start looking through and researching these, like it's, it gets delirious. Like it's an obsession, but that's how I found these. I just started looking and reading and it's too much. I love it. Yeah. You that can one's... borrow this one for a while too, if you want. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So here we go. I've got a funny story to tell you about Maria. <laughs> So this is a dupe, it's called, this is from, what is it? Paris Corners, a mirror line. So Paris Corner is another really great dupe house and they make it pretty obvious what they're duping here. If you're familiar with this perfume, you probably recognize the bottle, um, but this is called a Frenetic Delicieuse, which is a dupe of Feve Delicieuse. So I think it was the first time I met Maria, we both came with a big box and bag of perfume and we were, just like spraying like crazy. I brought this one out and I'm just like rolling my eyes. I'm like, it's so good, it's so good. And she's like, you know, Val, honestly, Fev means bean. I mean, I just can't get past the bean. It's true. So I still love this one, but I can't help but hear Maria's voice in my head saying, delicious bean. So here, I'm gonna hand this to you. I'm gonna cool. grab the notes. The bean in question is Tonka which is a really, like a really lush, vanillic. It is, it's warm, it's sweet. Yeah, it's very, it's very so sweet. It's so weird. I, 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 as soon as I smell it, I, I want to like it. Yeah. But there's something in it and it's, it's sweet and it's warm. Like I can, I can get that. Yeah. But to me, well, it like makes me want to go like this. <sighs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Do you know what is hitting me right now? Because I was going to say, you know why I think it's weird? Probably is the top notes. There's mint. And the mint, oh. it's it's very short-lived and it kind of just blends so masterfully into the rest of the composition with other totally weirdo notes that you wouldn't think it would go with. Yeah. But you know what I'm thinking? It also smells like taffy, like a really sweet, sweet candy. Okay. And it's almost making me think of those Halloween taffies. Halloween you know? kisses? Yes, which I like. Okay. But I know a lot of people can't stand. So I don't know if I'm selling it, you guys. But this is, I love this stuff so much. I like Halloween kisses because I like the molasses like that. Yeah. But th like there's just something in it that <laughs> makes me go, Ugh. But I feel that way about a lot of like Tonka-centric yeah. fragrances. So uh, Tonka Imperial by BDK. I've wanted to smell it. I haven't though. I think I have a sample. If I do, okay. I'll, you can have it. But um, yeah, same thing with that one. So anything that's Tonka heavy, okay. I like Tonka in fragrances. So having a little bit of Tonka, really right. enjoy. Right. But um, unfortunately, and like, it, doesn't this have cinnamon in it too? I'll read you the notes. Okay. It's a lot of weirdo notes. Uh, top notes, lavender, mint, and bergamot. Mid, sour cherry, which I don't, I don't get sour cherry, no. but I could see cherry in there. Like there's that candy kind of. Right. Uh, jasmine, freesia, and the base, tonka, vanilla, cocoa, or cacao. Right. Caramel, praline. I definitely get a heavy dose of praline in this one. Benzoin, milk, sandalwood, leather, and cedar. Okay. Lots so of notes. There's lots going on. I mean, this, I wouldn't be, I'd probably wear this just a couple of times a year. Yeah. This is one of those ones I just like going into my cabinet and sniffing. Yeah. Because it's like candy. I love it. And another Art Al Zafar. And this one, uh, I never hear anybody talking about this. If you look at the bottle, it says gorgeous purple, which is what sold me. Yeah, it's beautiful. I, did, I couldn't get any notes on it. So I just blind bought it just for fun. Um, but what this is, is this amazing mango sandalwood mm. oh, oh it's wow really, so it's really it, it, nice so you don't think it's a dupe of anything i actually don't i don't have anything in my collection that smells that's like freaking this. amazing you love it <laughs> oh wow I, I, yeah like oh i gotta spray that on me right okay, like where do i have room but what I love about it, like it's not, it's a summer perfume, but it's a summer night, wow. right? The sandalwood oh. is, is a very, it's feminine and smooth and creamy, right? And then yeah. you blend that mango, that juicy, juicy mango in there. <laughs> down. Like, yeah. Oh Total it's down. Like That's glass. freaking awesome. It's like, wow. Good one. <laughs> it's a really, And so where really do you get this one, one from? Uh, that one I did get on um, Trader Joe's. 
No, triple traders. Triple traders. Yeah. yeah. So here we have peony, magnolia, peach, mango, lychee, pomegranate, pineapple, sandalwood, and white musk. I just really get mango and sandalwood in a yeah. dry down and it follows you, it sticks to you. I heard somebody, I was watching a perfume video today and the girl was like, it sticks to you like a two year old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that's like that says oh, it. Wow. Right? It's gonna follow you around like a two-year-old. I'm I want to get this one. I want you to get it. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm I gonna knew you'd love it. Back. I almost didn't bring it, but I'm like Min no, Yabash. What what the heck? Uh, Min Yashbahak. Okay, so the angel Nova dupe. What is it called again? It's called Musaf Wardy. Okay, so that one's had time to dry down definitely better because you don't get that sharp. So if you find Angel Nova to be like uber yeah. sharp, this one is way, way nicer. And then that, that mango one is it's, unbelievable. Like, like that's one of the nicest fragrances I've smelled in a long time, I'm honestly. And I've, I've been smelling a lot of really amazing fragrances, but that, and so what, what's the price tag on that one? Again, like I think I pay $45, like right around there. Like, and it's just, it lasts and lasts. I don't have anything like this. Do you? No. Like, it's Well, I've been looking like, for something like that because oof, yeah, it's I want the mango it's and it's a sweet, good. it's a sweet candy-esque mango yeah. and musky. Yeah. Perfect for summer. Yeah. Oh, I, I got to get it? that one. It's a jewel. Yeah. I love it. I, it's I'm a in love. Gem. All right. So the next one we have here is uh, Paris Corners Kahilo Lux. And this one is... A really crazy looking bottle. <laughs> I didn't looks buy like it for a the chess bottle. Piece. <laughs> it really does. It's it's wild. Um, and it also looks extremely masculine, but don't be fooled. This is a unisex fragrance though. It's inspired by an almost an exact dupe as far as I'm concerned for Invite Only Amber 23 by Kayali. Mm -hmm. I was extremely happy to find this. Yeah. I love it. I love Invite Only. I'm, I'm willing to pay, you know, yeah. the price for that because it is long lasting as far as the Kiali's mm -hmm. go. I think it's amazing. You like this one better, right? I like that one better. Awesome. So yeah, awesome. this one, so, so for Amber Invite Only, when I put it on my skin, when I smell it on the cap, I love it. When I put it on my skin, sometimes with fragrances, I get diaper, like, and, and yeah. that's one of them. I don't know why, <laughs> but I get diaper. And so <laughs> this one, uh, it smells on my skin like I smell it on the cap. Yeah. So I love this one. For me, this is a, a total winner. So sensual and warm Just, and delicious. Yeah. Perfect for fall and winter. Here's Ooh, the notes. The head's even heavy. <laughs> it's a it's a luxurious bottle. It's yeah. just a, it's a little little weird stallion for me. <laughs> I don't you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's very masculine looking, <laughs> but that's okay. These are the notes: tobacco. Sour cherry, honey, chocolate, hazelnut, mid notes, Ceylon cinnamon, May rose, damask rose, and citrus leaf. And the base is amber, oud, vanilla, benzoin, sandalwood, cypriol oil, patchouli, and musk. Every spritz is like worth a dollar. Like it's so good. I would really recommend this one. If you, if you like really rich, intense, I mean, these are Arabians, that's what we're talking about. But, you know, whatever sort of woody feel you get in this fragrance, it's not, it's not too much. No. Like there, there are barnyard oods and we have to be yep. honest about that. Yeah. And that's an acquired taste and you can work your way up to that if you want. Uh, that's not going on here. This is just like a sexy dessert. Yeah, I agree. It's amazing. It's very, very sexy, alluring. Very sexy. Yeah, love it. Very, that's why, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited so about good. this one. Okay, so yeah, well, I really wanted called. you to smell this. So this is, I'm so, I was so happy to get my hands on this. This is French coffee and it's by Al Rehab. Now Al Rehab is the house that brought us Choco Musk and I believe Soft, the one that's supposed to smell like oh, okay. cotton candy. I haven't smelled that one. Right. Choco Musk, however, for, I don't, I don't get it, man. Yeah. Like it's, it's about $5 a bottle, which could be fine if it's, you know, a good fragrance. It's just doesn't show up for yeah. me. Have you had much experience with um, it? I think I tried it on once and it seems to last about 15 minutes, like not, yeah. not long. And you know, it would be nice as something to blend, but regardless, I, I really wanted to try this because I heard amazing reviews and it was absolutely right. 
go for it. I'm so this excited is, about this one. First of all, I oh. love the color of the bottle. So as far as I know, this isn't a dupe of anything. It's just an unbelievably delicious, photorealistic, <gasps> sweet coffee cafe. For, right? <laughs> this is like, I oh just, my I, goodness. I just tasted it. <laughs> yes, this is what I wanted. Okay, so intense yeah. cafe. I was just this is say, what I was intense. Go ahead. No, no, no. No, 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 you. No, no. <laughs> This is intense cafe without the roses. Way better. Right? Way so better. You don't have to get, you if, You know, if you're in the mood for that, that's great. You yep. don't have to get used to that kind of intense European rosy over the top. <sighs> this is just straight up, I'll read you the notes, okay. coffee. And it is a realistic, dark, rich, yes. fresh brew. Totally. Amazing. Vanilla, caramel, milk. I love it when milk is a note. It's so soft and pretty. Cacao, sugar, and cinnamon. It's it's delicious. I'm gonna spray it somewhere. Okay, I'm oh, right there. It's so good. Have you mm -hmm. smelt um, Coffee Addict by Theodora's no. Cattle Bubble? I can't remember the mm -hmm. name. Anyway, that's a huge, like, famous one. I think I have a, a sample I can let you smell. Um, I find it goes too dessert-like. Okay. So this. This gives me that photorealistic coffee smell yeah. that's, it's so amazing. And the thing is, the only reason, like, I don't like negatively speaking about fragrances because everybody likes what they like yeah. and everybody has subjective experiences, but I feel like with this one, because it's our rehab, if you did have the same experience we've had with Chaco Musk, don't be afraid of this one. This is still yeah. wrong. So this what what do you find for longevity? Like this one, this is one of my longest lasting. I feel oh, like wow. this is like ten hours. This is like if okay. you go to bed wearing this, you wake up smelling like this. Like this is really and you can smell it strong. Yeah. Mm. Do you find that it goes uh, sweeter as you wear it, or does it stay about the same? Like is it pretty linear? Or? I'd say it stays about the same. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really nice. What was the other coffee smell? Oh, yeah. oh shoot. This reminds me of like. You know that, you know, Hagen dazs coffee ice yeah. cream? How insanely good that is? Yeah. That's what this reminds me of. Yeah. It's richer than that, like, but yeah. it's, yeah, amazing. Uh, Teal Cabanel, Cafe Cabanel, have you smelled that? No, I haven't. That's scrumptious. Mm -hmm. So I would say I like that better than this, but this is, this is delicious too. It's amazing. Yeah, and, yeah. and like the Teal Cabanel is like, I think it's over two hundred dollars. So, so this this is, is like forty four ninety nine. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. It's so good. Yeah, totally. Highly recommend. Most of us know about this one. Camera, 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 camera. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. There you go. Now I know you know this one. We both know this one. When I first got this one, I got it when it was all the rage and everyone was freaking out about it. And I got my bottle and I was like, I'm going nose blind to this, and this isn't all that. It's yeah. either I'm going nose blind or it just doesn't last long. My bottle's been macerating for almost a year and I can't even, I can't. Yeah. It's so good. It's so rich. It's so strong. Um, the notes are, okay, first of all, though, before I get into the notes, what I want to say about this one is people liken this to um, Angel Share. Angel Share by Killian. And obviously with the bottle you, you get the same feel mm -hmm. and it's it's similar there's a little bit of spice in it but i feel like it's the main star of the show in this one is the dates yeah i agree you know um and i have an angel an angel share dupe coming up here that i am absolutely in love with and i think and is also made by latapa so this is the latapa fragrance i'll give you the notes uh top notes cinnamon nutmeg and bergamot mid dates praline tuberose and mahoniol do you know what mahoniol is no nope. I don't get any tuberose. No. Uh, base notes, vanilla, tonka, benzoin, myrrh, amberwood, and akigawa wood. And here's something I wanted to ask you. Isn't akigawa wood like the Mogler creation fantasy wood? Yeah. Well, what I understood uh, is that akigawa wood is actually a synthetic version of patchouli. Okay. So okay. I think that it, but I, but Mugler uses it a ton. Right. But I, I don't think it's like... <laughs> exclusive to okay. Mugler, but like that's the thing it's it's very sharp but I don't find it sharp in here at all I don't either like it's just what I get mainly is a very sweet date like mm -hmm. it's just really special yeah um so it, it definitely like it smells like Middle Eastern dessert to me mm -hmm. yeah my sister just smelt this recently and she rated it as her uh one of her highest yeah. out of the ones that I I had her smell 
but she thought it smelled coconutty. I could see that too. Yeah, like when she that said too. that, then I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I get that. Yeah, very, yeah, it's beautiful. Very dessert-like, you hardly need any. Like it goes forever. So yeah, if you get a brand new bottle and you have the, the same experience I did, give it time, give it time, spritz it a little and put it in the dark, put it in perfume gel and it will come out and serve you, I promise. Oh. Does that one smell the same as yours? Yes. Yeah, see, I found when I first got mine, mm -hmm. it was way too, like, it smelt sharp. Yeah. And now it smells smooth and rich, like the sharp edges have kind of dissipated. Okay. And it's way, way nicer than when oh, I first got it. I'm so... still in love with this mango one. I think it's my favorite so Isn't far. It? Oh, the so coffee glad. one, though, is freaking amazing. So this is Sheikh Al Shiuk Latafa. And this one is an acquired taste, but it is incredibly beautiful. Beautiful. Have you smelled this one? No, I'm excited. Well, maybe I have, but I don't remember. This reminds me of like some beautiful Middle Eastern priestess type of woman in long, flowing, beautiful fabrics, and she's walking through a spice market. Uh -huh. Like, just oh, damn. Bottle, beautiful. Cap, not as heavy as I anticipated, but heavy, heavy glass. I think the other thing that I'm impressed with in regards to Middle Eastern fragrance houses is uh you know the like heavy glass i don't know how they do it mm -hmm. for the price of the, and of course maybe yeah. they're mass producing mm -hmm. okay so right off the bat this reminds me more kind of the uh like where there's a ton of different notes in it and it's yeah. a little perfumey feeling yeah. absolutely but i can see this one being beautiful as it settles in the skin yeah, top notes of rose, cinnamon, saffron. Okay. And you can really get the yeah. saffron in this one, I think. Mid notes of caramel, patchouli, and base, woody notes, vanilla, amber, and ambroxan. Okay. So yeah, no oud in this one, which I find surprising. Yeah, I want to spray it on me, but I, I can only handle so many. <laughs> this one, this is a whole mood. Yeah. Like this is, it's, yeah. I mean, yeah, this one, I, I wear this by myself yeah. for the most part. That's what I mean. It's an acquired taste. It's really intense, but I, oh, I yeah. love it. I love it. I'm addicted. And then here comes Swiss Arabian and Nara Oud. So when I first discovered Swiss Arabian, it was Shagaf Oud, which is to me the best, mm -hmm. the best, the best Oud I've ever smelled because it's super praline and caramel heavy and it's just like a dessert and yeah. I'm addicted to it. I can't stop sniffing it. This one is made by the same house. It's just a little bit fruitier, a little bit more floral. It still gives you that Shagaf Oud feel. Mm -hmm. I think you smelled this one before. But yeah, so I, I smelled this one and really loved it. It smells fruitier. If you took Shagaf Oud uh, and kind of clarified it a little bit and put it with some jube jube -ish type things. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So a lot more sweetness, but it smells like jelly candy sweetness to me. Yeah. It's delicious, actually. Yeah. So a little less depth, a little more playful, but still really uh, a, a beautiful woman type fragrance. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And still really oh, quite a powerhouse oud. Yeah. Like you got yeah, you ready. Sure. You got, I think you got to work your way up to this one yeah. as far as ouds. If you, like if you were to start your oud journey with this one, you mm -hmm. might be put off. I don't know. What do you yeah. think? Um, with the sweetness, maybe oh. not, but mm -hmm. like, so I find this one more palatable and easier than Shagoff oud. What do you, do you think? You find the other I way like around? Off more, oh, I like okay. I find it more palatable, but that's because it's sweeter. There's something like so rich. This one, and I know you just said that, that it's sweet. To me, I get more floral. And then the, okay. the fruit that I get in it is more like essence of fruit. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So we get it slightly differently. I'll read you the notes. Uh, lychee, saffron, valerian. If you've oh, ever valerian smelled, root, okay. Yeah, and valerian root really smells terrible. Does it? I, I <laughs> yeah. don't think I've ever smelled it. Uh, I used to take it to help me sleep. Okay. And it's it's really a pungent, strange smelling herb. So mm. I thought that was interesting. So top notes of lychee, saffron, and valerian. Mid rose, raspberry, and peach. So I really get that raspberry. I love right. raspberry so much. And then base, vanilla, oud, and teakwood. Love it. I'm smelling oh. it with the coffee. That's, that's, that coffee Where? is running all, holy, that would be a great mix. 
it actually would layer oh. gorgeously. That would layer amazingly. And no one would ever figure out what you were wearing, oh. ever. No. Ooh, oh. that would be a great combo. That's awesome. All right, so since we were talking about Swiss Arabian, the king, the queen, the one, yeah. Shaka food. It is so stunning. I love this one so much. I'll just read you the notes right away. Top note, saffron. Mid notes, agar wood, also known as oud, and rose. And base notes, again, oud, praline, and mm -hmm. vanilla. It's so pretty. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Yeah. For a while, this was hard to get a hold of. Cause, it? Yeah, because it got really, really hyped so yeah. a couple years ago. But now it's like you can find it both on Fragrance Net and Fragrance Buy. So yeah, uh, for really, really affordable. Really Such affordable. a beautiful fragrance. Yeah. And that Anara Oud, I think I paid $27 for it. That Anara Oud, I oh, think I might want to get. We're going to need to get it. It's on Parfum Online. Well, I think I'm going to need to get quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> so right into the next one, we've got Oud Mood, which is by Latafa. I love this one. I really love this one. This was my first Oud perfume. And at first I was just weirded out by it. I didn't know what to think. Uh -huh. It has notes of caramel and I think incense. So I thought I'm going to like this. This is going to be good for the winter. But it just weirded me out. It's not a barnyard Oud, but it was just kind of a... Took me a little while and then something changed. And I think I talked to you around that time. Yeah. And I was just delirious, obsessed, couldn't stop thinking about Ouds. And this, I, wow. I just absolutely love it. I love okay, it. first love of all, it. I think love the bottle it. is super cool, actually. It's a pretty sexy bottle. I really like it. Top notes, rose, saffron, pimento. And I think maybe that's what might have put me off a little, because pimento is an odd note. Mid, oud, caramel, floral notes, patchouli. Base, resin, woody notes, amber, incense, and musk. So this is no lightweight fragrance. But this is mysterious and sexy, and this is the kind of fragrance when you only need a little and you spritz it on and it becomes you. Like it really transforms on the skin and becomes exactly what it should on your skin. Mm -hmm. At least it did for me. I can smell it with the coffee. <laughs> and it smells amazing with the coffee. Ooh, I bet it does. I'll tell you what I mix this one with. Okay. And I got so many compliments last winter mixing this one with Latafa's Kismet Angel. Oh, yeah. Angel. Yeah, These totally. Two together. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So Kismet Angel is Latafa's dupe of um, Killian's... I'm forgetting it. Why? Angel Share. Yeah. Um, this is, like, if you get your nose on this one and Camera side by side, you'll understand that Camera is the date fragrance and this is the true Angel Share dupe. It's a gorgeous bottle, thick, heavy cap, thick glass. It smells better, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. than the I original. agree. I, I have a few backup bottles because I'm a fragrance freak. I got a backup bottle of this, I think, the same day I got this because I just was like, I can't ever, ever, ever be without it. Yeah. If you put these two together, it's just winter. Awesome. Winter magic. Winter goddess, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the Angel Share DNA, but this one... This one I absolutely yeah. love. This one, it's hard to get because it's sold out all the time because mm -hmm. it went kind of viral. Mm -hmm. uh, but I agree. I think it smells better than um, Angel Share. It lasts longer yeah. and it's a fraction of the price. And the bottle is still nice. Do you mind if I smell camera next to it? You just, you know, quality when you see it. Yeah, they're they're definitely different. Yeah. The dates definitely are, yeah. are, are prominent in the camera. But there's room for both as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> and together they would be stunning. They would be totally compatible together. All right, I can't even choose which one is the last one, so I'm just <laughs> going to do this one first. So this is Al Haramain Amber Oud Tobacco Edition. If you watch Maria's channel, you know all about the Amber Oud Gold Edition. I hope you've smelled it. It's absolutely stunning. Um, this one is really close to my heart. I don't care if it's supposed to smell like Tom Ford, um, Tobacco Bini. I don't care what it's supposed to smell like. It just smells good. Yeah. It just smells really good. It smells like gingerbread and cloves and, but not overly sweet, not overly done. There's a little, I think there's a little citrus in there just to bring those fragrances out. I'll it's leave. really, really good. Like, oh. um... It's probably like, cause I'm very, very picky on mm -hmm. uh, t 
tobacco vinny. Yeah. Uh, I've never smelled anything that smelled exact, but this would be the closest that I have smelled yeah. as far okay. as being close to a dupe. Do you like it better? Do I like this better than, yeah. than tobacco vinny? Yeah. No. Tobacco vinny is just the... A little bit. Okay. But, but this... It's so, so freaking close that yeah. like, and I would highly recommend if you're wanting a dupe, this would be the dupe to go for. So Okja, not so much. Not so much. Um, I, I ha I'm not sure if I've ever smelled a Dua version. I this smell the dossier right. version and it's adequate. Yeah. It's, it's not awe-inspiring, which yeah. I would say this is. Yeah, yeah, this one's. Yeah, for sure. Oh, like this beautiful. one. Beautiful. So, um, yeah, I sell jewelry for a living and I, when I'm wrapping and packaging up my stuff, uh, to send out and I've got tissue paper and, you know, little gauze bags, I put a spritz of this oh, every time cool. and my customers are like, what is it? What is it? Oh, now? that's what awesome. It's intoxicating. So it comes out of the bag and it's just this experience. I love this stuff. Yeah. Highly recommend, gorgeous. of course, for the winter, but I mean, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. My friend Lori she loves tobacco vinny and she like she's addicted to this one so she really really enjoys it as well it's, she sprays it everywhere like she just loves it and like you can't you really i know you could wear too much i mean technically you could but i feel, almost feel like you couldn't because it's just so yeah. pleasant it's yeah. so nice to smell i agree it's very hard for me to choose a top number one but today this is it and for the last month or so it's been this okay and I think you're really gonna like it. I've been dying for you to smell I'm this. Excited. So this is again, Fragrance World, the Barricat version of Oud Satin Mood. If you have Oud Satin Mood or have seen it, you know that it's got this dark juice and this beautiful dark bottle. I just couldn't even believe it when I smelled it. And I will get the notes. Damask Rose, Turkish Rose, Oud, Powdery Notes, Vanilla, Violet, Amber, Ceylon Cinnamon, and geranium. It's I, amazing. I want this one in gentle gold as soon as I can. I want to smell the gentle gold version of that one. Well, you haven't smelled it. I haven't gold. smelled it. No. Remember I, I told I you had... it's back in stock. But I, I didn't wish, right. Okay. I wish I had, I may have a little bit of a sample left. I'll, I'll look and see afterwards. Okay. But um, I love gentle gold. So delicious. Okay. But this one, it's amazing. That is so like the violet and the powder yes. and the oud, it's unreal. Like well, and I, I definitely get the violet. Who'd have thought? Because the violet's the iffy for me. Mm -hmm. Me too. But it, the powderiness with that oud? Well, you know what it is for me? <gasps> I feel like the oud makes the powdery violet note, turn. it turns it into caramelized yeah. violet. Right? Yes. Like candied caramelized violet. Oh. And then baby powder. And then gorgeous woman. Yeah. Like... Who wouldn't yeah. want to smell like this? Well, right? it's it does. It smells like gorgeous woman. <laughs> it does. Ooh, you smell like gorgeous woman. <laughs> no, it smells amazing. I knew you'd love it. I couldn't wait for you to smell this one. So yeah, this was a dream. I couldn't <gasps> believe it. It was about 45 bucks. I got this on Triple Traders. It's stunning. The juice is dark and it's like, I'm just going to fall over myself talking about like, I love this so much. So yeah. I can't believe I've been this conservative with it because I want to bathe in it. This is also a man killer. Men love this one. Yeah. I mean, that's a no brainer. Yeah, it's so bizarre. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever even smelt. So what is that supposed to be a dupe of? Sorry. It's Oud Satin Mood by Emma. Okay. okay. I, I'm sure I have smelt it, but I, I don't remember. But this, it smells like sexy, but softness. It doesn't yeah. smell like an abrasive. It smells like. Yeah. Mysterious. Yeah. Yes. Mysterious, sexy, soft. I Yeah. Oh, You're so well, the, the vi well, so are you. The <laughs> violet, well, the, like that's the amazing thing. The violet has a slight green hint with the, the powderiness and yeah, baby powder, but with the rose, but it, I don't like baby powder mm -hmm. and I'm not big on powder in general, but this is so I was listening to you talk about insolence the other day and okay. I really, I get where you're at with Violet. Like Violet mm -hmm. used to be my favorite note in oh, my really? 20s. Okay. But now I'm just kind of like, well, you know, whatever. Yeah. It, it's, but this, this Violet is exceptional. Yeah, I because, agree. Because like I said, it's caramelized. Yeah. It's like, oh. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. amazing. And I agree, it I has caramel. You guys, this would be my top pick for an Arabian perfume, although it is a dupe, but it's an Arabian house fragrance world. Get this, you will love this. Thank it's you. so good. Delicious. Woo! Okay, so that's your number one pick. Do you mm -hmm. have uh, two that would be underneath it? 
You know, I'm gonna say, I mean, this is so delicious to me. Yeah, I'm gonna probably say this one just because it's so masterfully yeah, done. It's really, really well done. Yeah, like it's, they took an inspiration and they took it up several notches to something all yeah. its own that's gonna stand the test of time in my perfume collection. I'll never be without this. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when it comes to Arabian fragrances, what I really love is to be able to smell like, like taffy and incense and you know, these like dessert fragrances, but in this very regal way. Yeah. Like it's not juvenile whatsoever. No, I agree. And that I think is what, you know, of all the things that I love about Arabian fragrance, that would be the top thing. Beyond that, it would just be the affordability, the presentation, mm -hmm. the longevity, the quality, everything we've talked about. Love them. Yeah. I love them. Cool. Get them. I think, <laughs> I think out of all of them, the surprise for me was the purple one. Yeah. The, uh, the mango one. That one was amazing. I really enjoyed uh, smelling that coffee mm -hmm. addict one. Mm -hmm. um, I also was uh, surprised by that pink one. That's yes, uh, it, but but I still have you smell Angel Nova EDT? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Recommendation. I got it. I love oh, it. Oh, do you? Okay. I yeah. It. I think yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah. So, but you're right. This one smells more like the EDP, but a better version. Yeah. But all of them are just amazing. Love them. But this one. This is what I'm really excited about. <laughs> is it? Well, the rest of them. You know, you're expecting from a Middle Eastern a lot of times. You know, spicy rose, uh, some s cinnamon, and Absolutely. saffron, different stuff like that. So this is kind of um, far from that. This is more fruity, fun, yeah. light, but yeah. so, so, so good. I smell amazing right now. <laughs> you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. So Val has an amazing collection of duas too. So in the near future we're hoping to do a duo video we're and, gonna do a duo yeah i can't wait <laughs> so other than other than that thank you so much thank you this was awesome That's and amazing. i'm really excited about all these fragrances seriously highly recommend i i agree with val there's not one oh. in here that i go uh I, I kind of blame like they're all really great and i think the cool thing about all of them is that you're not breaking the bank if you blind buy yeah yeah. And uh, for the most part, I find most of them ma mass appealing. Me too. Like, Me too. Yeah. But mysterious enough that nobody's going to know what for it is. Sure. And that's, I like that. I yeah. like the uniqueness of it. But yeah, absolutely mass appealing fragrances. So thank you for sharing thank all you of them. I really appreciate it. So much fun. So okay. much fun. Okay, so uh, that is it. Um, if you have any questions for Val in regards to the fragrances, uh, feel free to leave that down below or me, whatever. And if you have tried these fragrances, please feel free to weigh in and yes. share your thoughts. Love Good, to know bad, and ugly. Yeah, yeah, totally. And other than that, have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.